the streets of Seattle Who said, honey, I don't got much time to talk I broke down cause I knew what was next And she said, I'm okay, but I'm locked in a holding cell Till someone gets me out, can you help me? I have no one else So there I was a defenseless middle kid Crying out for the right words to say Sorry I can't do anything at all The weather couldn't be much better from a footballing point of view. Welcome to Selhurst Park in South London. I'm Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Crystal Palace up against Manchester United. Yeah, really looking forward to this one, Derek. Excite me. Come on, let's see some entertainment. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. Lee, what are you expecting from him? Well, how'd you stop him? Four goals in three games. I suggest the defenders, not just one of them. Twos and threes might be the case.
Well, this is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Waita gets the nod in goal. Mamadou Sako plays with Alexander Dragovic in central defence. And they line up with just the one striker looking to... to... Enjoy the well, game. Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. The highly proficient David De Gea starts in goal. Rafael Varane plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. And now they get the ball rolling. Oh, nice ball. Isn't going to end up being productive for them. Well, he failed to get it away properly. The goalkeeper miles out of position. What a miss, you've got to say. Well, that space the goalkeeper give him there, it's a present. It's like Christmas. Pogba. Sacco. Well, Manchester United impressed in the last game, winning against Arsenal. How about this match, Lee? Well, Derek, they'll be pleased with a 2-1 win last time. Not so happy with conceding a goal. Might be a bit more challenging today, but I think they'll win the game. Happy to take on the shot. Well, it might still work out for them. And a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy. Let's have another look at this. He wasn't expecting the ball, but when he comes to him, he chooses early to volley it. What a finish. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. <laughs> Underway once more, Manchester United have hit the front. Joel Ward getting news of a goal in the Watford game Alan McAnally it's a goal for Watford 10 minutes played 1-0 many thanks Alan there has been so much speculation in terms of whether the transfer would go ahead but it will go ahead Lee well Derek the figure I think is around 60 million pounds I think you're getting one heck of a player for that sort of money he should be a real asset to the club Rashford it is a decent looking attack here. And maybe Rashford! Well, that's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. Corner kick played in. And it's gone out of play. Goal kick coming up. Adrian Tamez here. Moro has it. And giving them the gift of possession. He's very adept at protecting the ball. Odson Edouard. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. That will certainly mean a booking here. And now he's on a tightrope. <laughs> Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Very much run of the mill as saves go. A sloppy pass. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in.
Beautifully disguised ball. Just couldn't capitalise there. Time to make up his mind. A highly purposeful attack, this. The emphasis on getting the ball forward. Morrow. Tamez. Morrow has it. Crossing possibilities. And given the defender's touch, the referee says corner. Well, Derek, corners will be few and far between for them today. They should really try and utilise this one. Thumps clear. The corner kicks keep on coming. The noise is great. Can the players react to that? Can they equalise? Played into the centre of the box. And they deal with the threat this time. Morrow. Erkin. And whipped into the box. Well, the clearance half-hearted. Good technique displayed. Havertz! Terrific block there. Pogba. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Sustained pressure, and now they have the ball. Cross played over, but no one can latch onto the ball. An easy move on that cross. Given away. Looks promising, this. Will he find the net? Well, it might still work out for them. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. And a throw-in forthcoming. He has time to play it over. But he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Wilfried Zaha. It's with Jana Erkin. Now they've lost it. I understand there's been a goal on the Sheffield United game. Let's hear all about it from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Sheffield United. 41 minutes played. 1-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Marcus Rashford in position. Not all that hard to deal with crosses like that. Marcus Rashford, happy to take on the shot. Off the post and back in play. Erkin. Wilfried Saha. Important intervention. There will be a minimum of three minutes of added time. Adria Tamez here. Will he play it in? Possession changes hands. The interception there. An attack full of promise. Great block. Firing it in. Well kept out. This corner could be useful to them. So the corner played into the box. The first half here comes to an end. He's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Lee? Well, Derek, you're right. He has played well and goals win games. He's been a joy to watch in this form. Sit back and enjoy him in the second half. And now they get the ball rolling. The goalkeeper miles out of position. What a mess you've got to say. Well, that space the goalkeeper give him there. It's a present. Happy to take on the shot. 
Well, it might still work out for them. And a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy. It is a decent looking attack here. Well, that's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. That will certainly mean a booking here. And now he's on a tight rope. Firing is in. Well kept out. This corner could be useful to them. The teams have switched around. Manchester United kicking off the second half here. Plenty of running room in the wide position. Rashford! And the goalkeeper up to the task. Well, yeah, it's a decent save, but if he lets that in, you'd be asking questions. And he's fired over the corner. My goodness, Lee, the goalkeeper had his work cut out for him, but delivered. Yeah, that's what they do. Look at that save, a brilliant effort. Played into the centre of the box. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Crystal Palace taking on Chelsea. Yeah, I'm predicting a cracker there. Both teams will have a real go at each other, I'm sure. Just a quick reminder, we have more action from the Premier League coming your way. It's Manchester United facing Everton. Yeah, that looks a great matchup, doesn't it? Looking forward to some fast-flowing football there. Marcus Rashford in position. Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Just drifted into the illegal position offside, in the opinion of the officials. Morrow. Oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? Good technique displayed. He has teammates to play it to. Targets available, Cross comes in. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. I'm hearing there's been a goal at Villa Park. Who has scored it? Alan. It's a second goal for Aston Villa. 57 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Erkin. And a throw-in it's going to be. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. A delicious piece of skill. Crossing opportunity. Thou shalt not pass was the message delivered. And given away. Zaha. Well cleared away. Adrian Tamez here. Zaha. Palace possession, pretty decent. But after that, it's been disappointing. I'd like to see them use those wide areas around the defence. Get round them, I suppose, to trying to go through the middle. And a goal has been scored in the Southampton game. Let's hear about it from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Southampton. 66 minutes played, 2-1. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Numerical situation. Throw ins given. Substitution for Crystal Palace. And they have a
Selected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Tamez. Crossing possibilities. Getting forward. Well, the clearance half-hearted. Well, the header that was frankly miles off target. Well, technically, that was um, awful. Let's join Alan McAnally because I understand there's been a goal in the Aston Villa game. Alan? It's a third goal for Aston Villa. 71 minutes played. 3-1. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. And the offence sufficiently sinister to warrant a yellow card. Yes, agree with that one, Derek. He's got to be careful now. Substitution time it is. I well, just couldn't keep the ball. And using his strength to shield the ball. I think he knew he was guilty of fouling. Free kick conceded. Taking care of business defensively here. 15 minutes remaining. Kelly. Dragovic. Kuyate. Tamez. Nicola Moro. And now they have the ball back. Individual quality coming to the fore. And it's fallen for Ronaldo. An example of a goalkeeper on top of his game, Lee. Well, that is genius. Absolutely genius. And now the delivery. Well, he was being pursued furiously. The effort, though, nothing to write home about, really. No, I think you give the credit to the defender there. Just put him off balance. Just listen to the crowd, Derek, urging their team on. Surely they'll get another chance. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Easy peasy for the goalkeeper. Jaden Sancho. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. challenge good thing from his point of view well the counter chance looks very real and Zaha has it and the goal kick will be next And in the second half, the signs are positive. They can't relax, Lee, but they ought to be pleased. Well, with a narrow lead and the clock ticking, it's so easy for the United players to lose concentration. Asking the referee how long to go, looking over at the bench, staying focused is a skill. Buyate, Moro, Tamez, and here's Zaha. We have entered the final minute of normal time. There will be a minimum We've been waiting to find out, now we know, a minimum of three added minutes here. Well, they're attacking, but time is the great enemy. Janner Erkin, they've regained possession. And the referee says that is all for today. Well, Derek, just listen to that noise. Doing everything they can to try and help the players out. Can they get this equaliser?
Burnley to take on the shot. Well, it might still work out for them. And a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy. It is a decent looking attack here. Well, that's fine goalkeeping, real concentration. That will certainly mean a booking here. And now he's on a tightrope. Firing is in. Well kept out. This corner could be useful to them. Plenty of running room in the wide position. Rashford! And the goalkeeper up to the task. Well, yeah, it's a decent save, but if he lets that in, you'd be asking questions. And he's fired over the corner. My goodness, Lee, the goalkeeper had his work cut out for him, but delivered. Yeah, that's what they do. Look at that save, a brilliant effort. that was frankly miles off target well technically that was um, awful oh goodness he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team and the offence sufficiently sinister to warrant a yellow card yes Example of a goalkeeper on top of his game, Lee. Well, that is genius. Absolutely genius. Happy to take on the shot. Well, it might still work out for them. And a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy. Just a moment of your time. Thank you for your time. 